So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. I'm back on the little CRF 250 and we're going to do a little bit of green laning today. That's right, we're going to head up here and uh, we're going to get going. But today we've got a bit of a special guest. Howdy. Mr. Premises 187. <laughs> He's going off road on an NC 700 with proper tyres though. Yeah, I'm equipped. So, let's do this. We'll have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Right, so yeah, a little bit different today. NC700S, I mean, that's brave. I came down here with the Africa Twin and that was a little bit sketchy because of the weight, but an NC700S, yeah, fair play. I can hear him behind me. <laughs> if I hear the engine start racing, I know he's on the side. I think he ground out then. I think he hit the bottom of his bike. Oh, was that all right? Yeah. Not too bad. Pretty really good. Yeah. How's the tyres? I thought I heard a little bang. Take a few bumps, <laughs> I said he just ground out then. <laughs> so it's a little bit like this, and I think that it opens up slightly when we get yeah. up there. So a little bit more like that, yeah. only for a bit, and then it'll open up a yeah. bit. I try not to fix stones in your face. How was that one? <laughs> you're going slow to me, yeah? Uh huh? I'm you're holding back, right? You are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go bad. I've got a rear camera. Just make sure that rear camera's on. Yeah. <laughs> That's all for you. I should slow down really. That's being cruel. I hope I didn't fucking pelt him with stones. I keep forgetting about that. I'm not used to riding with people. We're gonna take it nice and easy. I can actually hear his behind me. Careful. I didn't hear any bangs or crashes on that one. We're doing all right. <laughs> He's doing well. A street bike, off-road tires. This is for all you people at the bike shed. They just put off-road tyres on your street bikes just to look cool. This is just to prove that you can actually take them off-road. Don't be shy. <laughs> Come and have some fun. I really want to hit that. <laughs> Wouldn't want to hit that, would you? <laughs> What's that? Now you've got a taster for it. Yeah. Hey. I'm an expert now. Yeah, that's it. We can go and do motocross now. <laughs> Bit of filtering make you feel at home. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, so we're back on the hunt for some more off-road stuff, some more green laning. I still got Prem with me, Premises 187. He did very well on those last lanes, I was very impressed. Considering that's a pure road bike, he has taken a slight chunk out the bottom of his engine. I'll show you that when we pull up, when we get up here. I don't know why I laughed there, it's not funny. <laughs> well, it is a little bit. But anyway, he's doing it. 
So to all you people that bottle it when it comes to off-road, you can do it on anything. We're proving that today. Problem is it's been raining, not last night, but the night before. And up until that point, this was bone dry. But now it might be a little bit slippery. Not 100% sure. I forgot about this first little hill. <laughs> Sorry, Prem. Weren't too slippy, was it? No, that was all right. Was that all right? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. down there's, it does get sandy. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to spin back and do the other one before you attempt this. Or do you, you want to go down to the sand? Let's do it. We're going, we're going to the beach. Yeah, look, look. If it's too bad, we'll, we'll turn back, all right? Don't go too far in it. Hold on, let's make sure I've got that camera rolling. I've got a bucket and spade in here, you'll be all right. <laughs> He's brave. <laughs> <laughs> we will take it uh, a little bit slowly. Unfortunately, with sand, speed kind of helps you out and lightness as well. So, uh, it is weird though that there's sand in the middle of the woods. <laughs> it's doing all right. Stay to the hard pack stuff and you should be all right. There's obviously been a lot of off-roaders down here. There's a lot of tyre tracks. I'll tell you what. Fair play. Fair play to the man. Stick to the middle. He's doing it. We're gangrene laning. NC700S and a CRF 250. Oh, shit. He's still with me, I can hear him. Yeah, boys! <laughs> and relax. <laughs> oh, he's floating all over the place. <laughs> Top man. How's it going? Yeah, that, was, that was scary. I told you it's like that and it's like yeah. it's like aquaplaning. Is it okay if you just keep it straight, yeah? Yeah, you sort of like, you just got to keep a little bit of throttle. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, when I was on the Africa Twin, it's like, your bars are constantly like this. Yeah, it, it just feels like you're not in control. Well, you're not. <laughs> you're, basically, you're not. But you ain't fallen off, so. It didn't park properly. <laughs> I thought the sand was going to hold it without the side stand. Yeah, but it didn't. <laughs> right, let's go get floaty. Oh, he's going to struggle on this bit. Nope, sounds good. Still hear him. That's a good sign. That's a good sign.
we are doing well and it's weird isn't it my bike's the only one that's been on its side so far <laughs> I could spend all day doing this this really is relaxing well there you go no death yet yeah um my bike's doing all right here, yeah? <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, you, you, you clumped that bit there. You've lost a, a bit of a fin. I, I shouldn't bend down in front of another man in the woods, should I? <laughs> it's doing well. It's amazing the difference tyres make. So if you was on proper road tyres, you definitely would have fallen off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have, there's no way hmm. I would have... And as I was saying, my, mine's the only bike that's been on its side today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we go out there, we do the other gravelly one. It's a bit shorter, but I think it's a bit more hard packed. Right. And mud. There's no sand up that one, I know that. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the sand can be sketchy. It's like, it is like aquaplaning. Right, yeah. It's almost like riding with two punches. Right. Yeah, the thing is, you sort of like, you tense up, then it gets worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of got to let it go. <sighs> but obviously the weight doesn't help. Heavier the bike, obviously, the more it... So rather than floats, it kind of sinks in. But no, it's doing well. You're doing well. I'm impressed. And you've done it. That's what you bought the tyres for. It's doing well. This one's quite steep. And uh, you don't really want to... I forgot how gravelly this is. Uh, sorry, Prem. <laughs> it's my bad. I thought this was just a nice, simple climb. And it, it is. If you're kind of used to these things now, and on an off-road bike with proper tyres, but not when you're on a street bike. So... Please accept my apologies. It flattens out now, we should be all right. Right, so we're going down. I'm hoping this is easy. I remember this being quite docile, but my memory could be wrong. You gotta watch out for the roots as well. All right, so this one should be all right, because this is quite hard packed. This is so much better than sand. The other one was so sandy. It was not pleasant. And we are going at a nice reasonable speed right so uh, if we pick the outside lane that looks nice and dry line not lane it's not a lane and then if we go over this side oh this is much drier than the other day right the next one i think we're slowed down for this is the one where you got the choice you can go around and then cut in a little bit up there or just that track should be all right i reckon yeah. yeah, as long as you don't go mad, it should be. Yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. So, here we go. Yep, he's through, sounds good. Oh, forgot about this downhill bit. <laughs> Sorry, Prem. Should be alright. We're nearly at the end of this trail now. ABS when I was coming down there was like, no, you're not slowing down anymore, mate. <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> I forgot how steep that one was. So you want to go back up there to where we started, and then we hit the lanes back into yeah. Box Hill, grab some food. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm impressed. I would have killed myself by now. Let's go. Hopefully, <laughs> find it a little bit easier uphill. Still there. He's still there. Right. How was that? That was good. Was it in the mud? Was it all right? Um, there was one part where everything went. I almost missed there. Yeah. That big rock back there. Okay. But hey, it's alright man. Alright, so there we go, end of the video. Out with my boy Prem. Went for some weird handshake then. What we got there in the end? Yeah. <laughs> Exposing himself in the woods. <laughs> Nothing unusual there. So yeah, did well. The little beauty did well. Oh, NC yeah. 700 s out on the dirt. No excuses, people. No excuses. Anyway, 
go and subscribe to Mr. Premises 187. Go follow him on Instagram. Yeah, go and do that. What? Who? I don't know. I couldn't hear what you're saying. I was just agreeing with you, whatever it was. So go and subscribe to him. Go and follow him. Go and do all that shit. Go and break your zip like that, man. This is looking a little bit broke back mountain. I mean, you broke your zip in the woods. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also, his channel. I shall see you on the next one. You know, I love you all. Stay safe. From Prem and myself, out. Get out your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get go, gone. Get gone. Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong But you did me wrong So go ahead and get